Hi. Last video, end of video number two, I said if you want to embark on a journey of dating one of these people that gives you these red flags and love hard in the beginning and think that you're going to change them, and then I stopped because that's a whole video. I try to keep these short. I tend to be verbose. So I'm going to sidebar and finish that statement. Change is a whole thing in this top, in this industry and research okay now the research shows for these kinds of people that and by research i mean there's been studies they've stopped studies that had subjects after a year because there was no change they didn't respond to medication behavioral therapy psychotherapy okay i am not a doctor but with the millions of things i've read and seen and heard i think that you I, be I believe in change. I'm an eternal optimist. I believe in change. If you want to do the work, which anyone that's had any kind of metamorphosis knows, there's a lot of work involved. It's painful. You got to look at things and look at yourself and tear it all up and it's terrible. They don't forget have a part of their personality, a tenant of their religion is, they have a grandiose uh, perception of themselves. Why would they change? They're fine with the way that they are. So I think when when it's said that they can't change, I think because they've never been of the set that would want to change. But I still believe anyone can change if they want to, if they feel, if they had to do the work. Now the thing is, the words don't matter anymore you have to understand if they tell you they're going to do something the other thing that i discerned is time and action you gotta you gotta you gotta just know that the only things that will show you change in anybody in my opinion is time and action a perpetual person that keeps telling you something i shouldn't say in anybody some people's word you believe on the dime because they've been always honest with you and truthful but with a narcissist all right time and action and they, I've always seen it fall short. And the research shows that they fall short because they will get bored. They will promise you everything when they come back, friend, family, foe, partner. And then they will, it will change. The cycle will begin again and it will get more detrimental. And there'll be another piece of drama and there'll be another huge fight. And there'll be another huge cycle of not speaking for two years. And there'll be another, whatever the case is, because time and action takes a lot of effort and a lot of patience and sometimes some alone time and of course they need distractions always because they don't like the company of themselves so they're always seeking other company you can't possibly do the work of self evolution when you're surrounded by people all the time and chasing new things all the time new energy new people new whatever there's that whole thing of he can't change, spots on a leopard, scorpion and the frog, she can't change, you're waiting for people to change, years and years and years. I think some people don't change certain things about themselves because they think it's not that big of a deal. And I'm not necessarily talking about narcissists right now. I want you to change. You've always been that way. Blah, blah, blah. You've always... Maybe they don't care. It's... To them, it's not a big deal. And it causes a perpetual fight. When it comes to narcissists, we're talking about something deeper. We're not talking about you leave your socks on the floor and you leave the toilet seat up. And that's not what we're talking about. Oh, maybe, maybe those old comments and adages and colloquialisms about people not changing is about the narcissist. The disorder, I think I read, has only been discussed formally since like 1968. So I think this is a personality disorder that someone finally saw and has put order to but it's been around forever so maybe those old adages are referring to those kinds of people because I truly believe anyone can change but these particular kinds of people I have learned through the research and listening to video after video of all different people professionals in this industry who counsel and hear a million stories and have videos and I told you I was going to put those on a whiteboard I'll do that um they they see no change 
But to me, that means no hope, and that makes me sad. So I like to think that there's always hope. And that's the most dangerous thing for um, an ex-victim of a narcissistic person like this to have is hope. But I don't mean hope with that. Well, they mean hope with the person coming back to you or fixing the relationship or fixing your worker relationship. Whatever the relationship is, that's, that's not the hope I mean. I mean hope for them to to change and find peace. But they say, no, it gets worse as they age is what they say, actually. So the research shows that the opposite of they will change. So I just, I just encourage you, young people especially, I think I've made that clear that I'm trying to reach young people younger than when I knew this, which is this year, um, just approach it more carefully. And that doesn't mean, oh, but this one, I'm like Cinderella, mm-hmm. When I never, I dove in all the time and I was, I was, I'm Cinderella all the way, but there are people for whom it's a game and they know it when they start it, that they will eventually crush the relationship. So luckily I got out. So, but many people stay in it. I, I left it uh, behind and now I'm trying to pass on the education to save others from entering into it because it is traumatic. It's a jarring thing to your system. Jarring. So that's what motivated me to do these. So anyway, that's my sidebar, sidebar into change. I just thought I'd mention it. Okay.